<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? We're going to talk about um, okay, one year with my Pan America. Let's talk about it. Three things I like about it. Um, All right, everybody, um, one year and 16,000 miles on my 2022 Pan America. I got three things I like, three things I dislike about it. Three things I like about it. Number one um, is the adaptive ride height. Uh, it makes it more confidence inspiring for a short guy like me to ride this bike, a taller bike. Uh, is it a necessity? No but uh, it does inspire confidence. Um, number two, the bike is very easy to ride. Uh, it's very easy to ride off-road, very easy to ride on-road. Uh, the traction control, the ABS, uh, different ride modes. Uh, very easy bike to ride. So um, there you go. Number three, uh, the ability to go off-road, the ability to take this bike off-road is probably the number one thing that I like about this bike. Uh, being able to go down roads and stuff like this is uh, a lot of fun, opens up a lot more riding opportunities in a closer area for you. So uh, I live out in the sticks, so it's easy for me to get out on roads like this get out for a few hours or for a day and I can ride all day on roads and stuff like this and uh, you know cover a couple hundred mile even so uh, there you go three things I dislike about the bike number one thing I dislike or, or I'm going three two one uh, the third thing is the jiffy stand jiffy stand on this bike is terrible what makes it worse is the adaptive ride height uh, you can put the bike on the jiffy stand one time and then the bike will be near vertical and you put it on there again depending on the, the status of the adaptive ride height if it's up or down and it will be uh, feel like it's about ready to fall over so the jiffy stand is is uh, an issue with me uh, number two I wish the motor was more tu tuned for torque um, I think it would be easier to ride off-road if it had a more of a torque tune than it does a horsepower tune. Um, some people will disagree, some people like that high RPM hit that the bike has, and it does have one. So, uh, and then it is fun, but... I think it would be better if it was more of a torque tune on it myself. Uh, number, the number one dislike about the bike is uh, dealer knowledge, uh, mainly the service department. They tend to put the uh, newest techs in them to school or make them learn on this bike as opposed to the older techs, uh, more knowledgeable techs. And the newer techs don't have the troubleshooting ability, uh, the experience of just being a mechanic and your basic mechanic skills. And um, I suffered a little bit of issue with that with my dealer whenever I had some stuff done to the bike. So that's the third thing I dislike of the, the uh, the biggest dislike that I have about the bike so uh, other than that I do like the bike the bike has been a lot of fun um, one issue I had uh, with the um, not starting I had it this past November went to the dealer four times before they got it figured out and I had to get uh, the motor company involved they had a tech deal with the dealer and getting it straightened out for me uh, it is straight now 
but I had to go there four times for something that should have been taken care of, possibly the second time. But um, that's beside the point, I guess. It's fixed now, and I'm happy about that. So uh, all in all, I do enjoy the bike. The bike is a blast. I've, I've uh, done a, been a lot of places with it. The first year I rode the Smoky Mountain 500. I rode a portion of the uh, Mid-Atlantic BDR, not all of it, but the first three sections of it, and I ran out of good weather timing. And uh, loose nut uh, dual sport ride and many many tracks around this area so uh, it's been a great bike it's easy to service uh, no other issues it doesn't use any oil it stays cool it doesn't overheat yeah the bike puts off some heat but um, anything that makes 150 horsepower is going to put off heat that's just the way it is uh, water cooled not water cooled a byproduct of horsepower is heat. That's just part of it. So um, if you want it, you got to live with it. That's all I got, folks. Hopefully I'll get back with you with a uh, second year with the Pan America. So uh, you guys be careful out there. Be safe. I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Mudcat is out.